Welcome back to ZPTV. It's Amanda and I am so happy to be announcing our brand new segment called Radiology Made Easy. And I have our senior VPs of operation. I have Carla and Danielle. Welcome ladies. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. I'm so glad you could be here with us today. So lots of questions at our front desk, obviously. And one of the big questions is always copay and deductible. And I'm wondering if you ladies could maybe clear up some of the differences. Danielle, let's talk about deductibles for a little bit. Sure. I mean, most patients, when they come in for radiology service, they have some kind of deductible for the service. So they have health insurance, and different health insurance plans do have different patient responsibility. Okay. But if a patient comes into his wiring or pissieri and they have a deductible that hasn't been met during the course of the year, they're going to have to meet that deductible. So when they have their radiology service, let's say they have a chest x-ray and it was $100, which it's not that much money but let's just use that as an example then that service if they haven't met any of their deductible for the year is going to be applied toward the deductible okay. so the patient would then get a bill in the mail for a hundred dollars or whatever amount of money that their insurance allowed for the service but just so that everyone is clear sometimes uh, different insurance plans you might go to your doctor for mm -hmm. a physical or you go to the doctor because you're not feeling well you might not have to meet your deductible for that okay. type of a service the deductible may, may only come into play if you're having a service like an MRI or a CAT scan which is a little bit more expensive, so your insurance company has decided to apply a deductible to that. Okay, so that's a lot of valuable information. So now looking at copays, how do we discern the difference then? And maybe Carla, you could explain a little bit about copays. Sure, sure. So a copay is a fixed amount of money you pay for a service, um, and it does not go towards your deductible. So it's a separate, it's a separate um, amount of money. That's that's, that's important for the viewers to know that it right. is separate. And a copay doesn't apply to all services. So if you're coming in for a, an annual mammo or some kind of a screening procedure, the copay does not apply. If a patient were to get a bill, are we discerning between the two, the copay, the deductible? Maybe you could take that? So sometimes there's copay and deductible. There's also coinsurance, which may come into play here. Oh, okay. So let's take that same chest x ray again. If it was $100 and the insurance company applies $40 to the patient's coinsurance, let's mm -hmm. say they pay 60% and they apply $40 to a coinsurance, then the patient might get a bill for that $40. It really depends on where you are with your plan during the course of the year. So if you have an insurance plan that only has copay and you have a $20 copayment for all your office visits, they, that will probably also apply with radiology and you'll only have a $20 bill. But then if you have a plan where you have a deductible or a coinsurance that you're going to be responsible for, that's what you'll get the bill in the mail for later from Zwanger. And it should kind of itemize that if you did receive a bill from us. And again, if you have questions or anything like that, you could contact our billing department. Carl and I are there every day, so right. you could certainly reach out to us. And, and you we'd have be happy to meet to your questions. deductible before the coinsurance kicks in. Yes, that's so, true. In all of this amazing information, what I'm really hearing a patient needing to do is they have to also be really much on top of the insurance plan that they select. So Carla, if a patient is looking um, at picking up an insurance plan, would these be some of the things that you would need to be mindful of then? Sure, sure, they should ask those questions. And, and if they ever have any que a question that they don't know the answer to or they need help, D Danielle and I are always here to answer. And help it's them. so wonderful that you two ladies have been here to sort of help support that department. And I know it's a very integral part of Zwang up a series. So again, for anybody coming in for any of your radiological testing exams, always consult with your insurance company to find out what be plan is best for you. But if you ever have any questions, we have these lovely ladies and their whole entire department to help. So again, thank you for choosing Zwang up a series. We look forward to seeing you soon.